Catching the Departed is a thriller that was uh, released in Singapore on 18th of July this year. And uh, this is my fourth book. I'll talk about my earlier books a little while later. Uh, this is a thriller which features Andy Curran for the first time. So this is, this is actually a series which we call as Andy Curran series and Catching the Departed is the first book. Um, Andy Curran is someone who's about 29 years old. He's a journalist, an investigative journalist who works for a weekly in New Delhi. Um, he is, he's also worked for, for five years in the Indian Army before taking the short service retirement. And now he's been a journalist at the beginning of this book for three years. Uh, but that is being a journalist is actually his front. In reality, he's a spy for the government of India. So this book is about, um, about Andy Curran coming across an assignment which at the beginning is actually a journalistic thing. But later on, he realizes that uh, he, he, gets, he gets sort of uh, pulled in, uh, in into a wider espionage uh, plot that seems to be unfolding. And it is sort of linked uh, with the journalistic assignment he was sent for initially. And uh, um, without revealing too much about the plot, uh, this book starts from a small village near Delhi in the state of Haryana where he goes for his first assignment as I said investigative assignment and later on the book uh, the the assignment uh, makes him travel from the village to New Delhi and to Mumbai and finally uh, to an island called Murud Janjira on the western seaboard about roughly about 180 kilometers south of uh, Mumbai so uh, in the process he he unravels the, the mystery and, uh, and is able to save the nation. It's that kind of a book. So Andy Curran is, is, is a journalist and a spy and uh, he ends up saving the lives of, of, uh, of people. Um, this book is also about, uh, if I talk about the, the core of the plot, it's about dirty bomb. It's about the possibility of using a conventional bomb uh, with 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 a nuclear core, so that it is it is more of of a kind of bomb that does not require special expertise to make, um, but it can cause considerable damage um, to to the place where it is exploded. Not in terms of the number of people who actually die, but in terms of the expenditure that comes to the government of uh, any, any, any place that happens and whichever government has to clean that because the nuclear radiation can spread uh, to a larger area of a kilometer or so and people need to be evacuated from there. The, the radiation can go to the water table so it has to be removed and that's an expensive process. In addition to that, uh, the terrorists, uh, this is of course common knowledge that terrorists can also use it to, to, to psychologically affect and terrorize, which is the main aim, a larger section of people because people don't understand the difference between a nuclear fission bomb and a dirty bomb. So uh, this is about this bomb uh, and this is of course in, 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 in a series of complex events that, that take him there. Um, as I said, this is the first book and uh, we will also be uh, coming out next in the series of Andy Curran, which is called uh, Drowning the Pirate, uh, that will be out next year and that has got a different plot and that is more at sea and that is more to do with maritime piracy. So, um, no, I, I don't really have proper specialized knowledge in, in the subject but I do have certain background which allows me to understand these things a little bit better. Um, and I think as a thriller writer, you need to understand uh, about not just motives of people uh, who become terrorists and why they go about doing things, but also about uh, forensics, about, uh, about espionage, about surveillance, about the use of technology to, 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 to tail people and to keep a track of things that are happening. 
so it's a mix of a lot of things and uh, what I have done since this is a genre that I grew up reading <coughs> excuse me and I sort of like this genre so um, I've been reading a lot of books and when you read other people's books you get a lot of ideas in addition to that since this is a, this is something that that comes to me naturally uh, I've got natural interest in this so um, I've been following the developments in these fields um, through newspapers and magazines and of course the web. So uh, these things have helped me to make a kind of a plot which is interesting, uh, which is possible and which has got the thriller element because we're talking about life and death, we're talking about money, we're talking about uh, dangerous motives of people. So these, these are the things which are necessary, I think. So. Uh, coming back to your question, uh, the background per se is not uh, because I've not been a policeman or or, or a detective uh, for that matter. But since I have natural interest in this, so about arms and ammunition, that is another thing that you need to know. So I have been over a period of time uh, accessing information, reading about it, sharing it with others, coming to venues like this, and uh, that has helped me to write to construct a plot which is which is interesting and engaging. Um, I've got a very interesting story about the title actually. You know, there's a, there's, I, I'm a huge fan of uh, Hollywood movies and, and uh, I, I'm sure you must be aware and a lot of people have seen the movie of Leonardo DiCaprio called The Departed and that happens to be one of my favorite, favorite movies uh, because of the way the movie has been made and, and the way it entertained me and engaged me because of certain sequence of events which have been put across, put together, I think in a very, very interesting, remarkable way. So I had listed The Departed as my favorite movie on, on Facebook and this is about two or three years back and whenever I try to search my name Kulpreet Yadav on Google, the Google will automatically come out with certain suggestions. So Kulpreet Yadav, one of them will be Kulpreet Yadav, The Departed. So I, I, I don't know how internet did this, but from there I got this idea. I said, The Departed is a movie that I've liked. And why don't I make a name which is something similar? So I added Catching, Catching the Departed. And uh, to, be, to be very fair, uh, this, this is a very um, indirect kind of a title because it doesn't really say much about the plot. And it also gives uh, a very different kind of a hint to a prospective reader, uh, but I, when I decided this name, I also decided the names for my next two books. And the second one, as I said, is called "Catching the," uh, sorry, "Drowning the Pirate," and the third one is called "Eating the Dragon." So I think, as as a complete deal of these three names, I thought these three names were, though they were rhyming, and rhyming is not a good thing for a lot of people. But somehow, I thought the these three names had very good feel towards them. So that's how uh, the, the title came into existence. Yeah, it does because uh, the book begins, uh, as I said, uh, uh, from a village in Haryana where a drunk lawyer, a uh, very poor guy, has been murdered on a winter night uh, by some unknown people and he's just a drunk, useless person. Even his family is not very proud of him and everybody forgets about him. So he's someone who's the departed. And after about one year, Andy Curran is sent to investigate about this particular murder in that small little village not far away from Delhi and uh, the, the editor of uh, Andy Curran sends him for this assignment because uh, she feels that uh, she has information from the in sources and in the intelligence agencies that there is more to that, that murder and uh, Whatever is happening there is really big and if a journalist goes, uh, whoever is there he will not get alarmed and not run away. So she does not equip him with this information and sends him just like that so that he goes with an open mind and, and yeah, so, so that's, uh, that's how the, the title is important because catching the departed, he's, he's long gone and, and Andy Curran is left to, you know, to the investigation by talking to people, by talking to his widow and and, and just moving around that village and when he, when he does that he comes, comes across a lot of, lot of things which are not 
a lot of things which don't meet the eye and you know that there are difficult there are problems and people are not speaking the truth and there are certain hints and evidences that he comes across uh, so which which makes him uh, you know take the investigation forward and as i said he goes to delhi and to other places like mumbai yeah um uh, you know um i think the older thriller uh, older novels had more of mystery element and less of suspense but nowadays with reducing attention span and and things that people talk uh, and the way the movies are made in hollywood and also now largely in bollywood movies and storytelling depend more on suspense and less less on mystery so yes in a way i've tried to write it in, in a way that when a person is reading it he he feels okay what is going to happen next so to to just to give a rough indication of the mix of mystery and suspense so in this book the mystery is about 30% and suspense is about uh, 70% but uh, talking about andy uh, karan uh, uh, being a cerebral guy he is he's he's not a very cerebral guy in that sense but he he is worked for 5 years in the army and whenever he comes across any situation in life uh, he always falls back to his basic training at the indian military academy and uh, he uses his own instincts and the training which is very basic that his instructor taught him to to get out of situations that he gets into you know difficult situations where his life is threatened or or something like that uh, he also has a very damaged past to his personality uh, he was brought in by a by a single mother and she she died when he was 12 and she had explained that uh, she had given him the name of andy karan singh uh, not andy karan singh but your partner it was anil karan singh and if your name is anil and you're in the army it becomes andy if your name is sandeep and you're in the army it becomes sandy so that's how he becomes andy karan singh and singh he chops off when he joins the army so he becomes andy karan and uh, the reason his mother gave that name karan because this is something every newspaper who's interviewed me or every magazine or almost everybody is asking this so i need to talk about the the current component of his name and that that comes from uh, comes from the fact that his mother was in love with someone who who and she got pregnant but she that person ditched her and she had reached the stage when she gave gave birth to him and and she to her mind that particular person ditching her uh, damaged her completely and she became a wreck uh, but then she also had the responsibility to raise him to to raise a child in which she did and uh, she thought uh, like the karan karan of mahabharata who was an illegitimate child brought into the world so she thought that probably you know this this guy is i must name him like that because and her dying thoughts were when he when he was talking to when she was talking to him she said no matter what you do uh, but whatever you do you will do all things right but you will not be the winner in the end so this thing is playing all the time in his mind and he's very careful and that's why he's very he's a loner he, he's he's not into any relationship at the age of 29 and for him patriotism matters a lot in and that's why he he is he's also as i said besides being a journalist which is his cover he's he's a spy and he gets he can get into dangerous situations uh he he likes to drink indian rum because that's something that is brought forward from the army days and he also likes to eat bananas because uh, he's someone who stays all by himself he's not into cooking so bananas are easily available in india and they're nutritious and they're cheap and and uh, and so so that's that that's about uh, that's about andy karan yeah